Record. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for telling me my mic was off because that's why we need to have somebody live. Because I, I, I thought I was, uh, thought I was having technical difficulties. Yep. No, I am. Thank you. Um, so yeah, so we're here on uh, whatever the date is today, which is the ninth, um, and we're looking at Michael Sherman's wiki um, called Golf Rules, which I found. Uh, this is the one that we're looking at. So what I suggest you do is um, open up this one, uh, do a file save as, so you own it, and um, put it someplace, and I'll just replace it. Um, hey, Julia. And um, you can mute your audio, which it probably is. Okay, and so now we're looking at so does this qualify as a discourse-based wiki? We're looking for, as opposed to an object-based wiki. What do you think? Whatever. <laughs> but my, the question is, is it discourse-based or object-based? Object means you've got like, in Billy's case, he's got assets. So I think in David's case, you were building with shapes, I, I think, I can't, or maybe you used pictures. I can't remember what you did for your objects. Julie, I don't think I've seen yours, but you know, you collect a bunch. Of, what did you do in your third wiki? Okay. Pardon? Yeah, but what kind? Shapes. Okay, so is this objects or, or is this object based or is this discourse based? And the, you'll find that in a week or so that that distinction is fades a little bit. But for now, what we can maintain it is this sort of is this a wiki that navigates us through a bunch of text or navigates us through a bunch of objects that are tagged? Yeah, All right. It's text, so it works. Okay. Um, What's his, the basic structure that he's using to provide navigation through text? Yeah. What do you think of use of tabs there? Does it work? Yeah. Okay. Take a look at his code. Um, so he's using that familiar construction that we've used before. So um, what does this this code do here like precisely in a sense like how does this work what's happening here my sense is you all know it but I just want to bring it out clearly so what things are going to be created in a tab which tiddlers oops there. Somehow he gets four tiddlers, four tabs. One called do's, one called don'ts, one called rules, one called terms. So what do those four tiddlers have in common? Maybe this is one of those questions that's so obvious you think it's all under. What do you mean by under? I want the vocabulary, the specific, very specific term. It's linked to, It's they're not really linked to it. They're under it, but what do you mean under it? What's the word, that, how, how do you, in Tiddlywiki, how do you put it there? What's the action that you do? So this filter, Golf rules, what about golf rules? They're tagged. So my, if you look at the do's tiddler, or the don'ts tiddler, or the rules tiddler, or the terms tiddler, when we look at them, what are they all gonna have in common? Pardon? That same they're going to have the tag. Yeah. 
right? They're going to have, they're all going to have a tag called golf rules. Um, if he were to change his code so that, oh, this is a little tricky. Oh, this is really tricky. Yeah, I don't know how to fix this because he's got, um, here, we'll do it this way. Um, if we were to do tabs and then you put it in quotes, rules and terms, that's what I would think of as the brute force way to making tabs. You actually just put the names of the tiddlers there. And so they don't have to have anything in common. They're just called on that command. So the first way uses the fact that these have tip that, that these have the common tag in the filter. So the action that he's doing here, because Michael tagged those four tiddlers with golf rules, now he can make a filter. So he's engaging in the action of filtering. So as a writer, that first line of code there, Michael has filtered. Okay, and when we, we use filtering back here as one of our hypertextual writing techniques, or as one of the writing tech, as one of the techniques. So he's using filtering and tagging, all in that one little line of code. Okay, um, I am in the wrong one. There we go. Okay, so. What if he were to create a new tiddler, like um, basic golf rules, and click? So you can go ahead and do this on your own copy, right? So go to basic golf rules and click on new here. What does new here do? From a, again, from a writing perspective, so you're writing, you click new here, what happens? We've, what do we have now? A new tiddler, but not just, not this kind of new tiddler, that's new tiddler. What's the difference between the two new tiddlers that we just created? One's tagged and one is not. Yep, the new here is tagged and it's tagged with it's tagged with the tid, it's tagged with the name of the tiddler that you press new here on. Okay. So if I create new here and I'm gonna say um this is a critique, um and I'll write Michael, nice use of tabs and tagging and filtering, and I save that. Basic, oh, I'm going to close this one. I'm going to close this one and that one. And I want my golf rules or golf rules go. Here we go. Um, oh, come on. We want that on top. There we go. So once I save my tiddler called, this is a critique, what's going to happen to basic golf rules tiddler? What would you expect to happen now? So David, what do you think is going to happen once I close this tiddler called, this is a critique? What's, how's this one going to change? How's basic golf rules going to change? And so what we're coming to here is an understanding of the dynamic nature of TiddlyWiki, right? It's a single page HTML. We don't have to compile. We don't have to do anything. As soon as we change something, everything else changes. So it's dynamic. It's like, 
So is, are, is this tiddler called basic golf rules going to change when I save this? Do it. David, what happens when you do it? Yeah, well, put it on your screen. Julie, what happens when you do this? Did you download his wiki and open it up? No, I can't find it. Okay. Um, so, um, do you want to get. I think right now there's a um, there's a link to share weeks for critique. Um, oh, that's not it. Um, uh, you look in exercise three under my third wiki, and then you can click on the raw Google sheet. Okay, and that'll take you to the spreadsheet or you can just link from it. So, Bill, do you have his open? Yeah. So what happens when you do, when you do what I was doing? How does it change the, what you see on the basic golf rules tiddler? Really? Yeah, you do new here, you save the tiddler. Yeah. It doesn't change your basic golf rules? No, it just makes a new tiddler. And then tags basic golf rules in that tiddler. When I do it, it doesn't do that. How can that be? It should open up a new tab called this is a critique. That's what I would expect to happen. Aha. Why was my expectation wrong? So he and I'm an idiot, as we all are. So he's calling the tag golf rules and I did a new here and I got the tag basic golf rules. So if I tag this to golf rules, there's, there it is. Now what happens? Now what happens when you tag it to golf rules instead of basic golf rules? What do you get? What happened to yours, David? Create a new tiddler, tag it to golf rules. I made a new tab. Is that what, that's what you'd expect to happen? No. Yeah, that's what I'd expect. <laughs> I was surprised when it didn't happen the first time, but I thought he was tagging to basic golf rules. Okay. Um, Shane, so if you're in Michael's, are you in Michael's thing yet? Okay, so get in Michael's so that we can all be in the same space. Um, John, go ahead and create a, um, how would you go ahead and create yet another new tab? What would be different ways to do that? So, If you go back to the tiddler you just created that you got successfully to be tabbed, navigate to this non-existent tiddler called golf rules, do a new here from there, even though that golf rules tiddler doesn't exist, it can still carry tags 
and be used to generate tabs. Um, are you able to successfully do that? So John, go ahead and share your screen. You still there, John? John? There we go. Yeah, I'm here. Yep. Okay. Am I sharing the right thing right now? Yep. Um, let's see your, ver where's your version of, um, yeah, open up that, click on that spreadsheet. Oh, you don't have, you don't have a, I don't, I don't have a discourse wiki in yet. No, 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 no. You're editing Michael. So go to, go to Michael's wiki. It's the last one on the bottom. Yep. You don't actually even need to save it if you only if you want to save changes and you can do that now or later. Um, and go ahead and, and create another tab on basic golf rules. Um, so I forgot how to do it. Yep, we were just going over it, but so there's a couple of different ways to do it. Um, so let's say you were to go to one of the other tabs, like terms, except go to one of the other tiddlers that makes the tab. Okay. And from there, you've got a tag pill for golf rules. So navigate to the golf rules tiddler, which doesn't exist. It doesn't need to exist. You don't even need to create it. Don't, no. So close that. Yep and do a new here from golf rules. You're gonna to have to navigate, yeah, the, yeah, navigate back to it. So even though it doesn't exist, you can do a new here from there. It comes pre-populated, give, give the tab a name, new tab, that's fine. Put some content in there. There you go. You're actually a new tiddler, you're not a tab. And that's like a weirdness, right? Because it tags, tiddlers, tabs, it's hard to keep track of them. <laughs> Scroll up to basic golf rules. You might have to, yeah, there you go, new tab. Yay, it worked. Okay, so, um, Bill, can you explain what we're doing here just so that everybody's really clear? What John just did? Yeah. No, I know that that's what he did, but what was the steps that he went through to do that? What tiddler? Not just any place. Yeah, it works, but he wanted to create a new tab on this particular, on basic golf rules. Except not, because the tag that Michael is using is golf rules, not basic golf rules. So he, what, what John did was navigated to the golf rules and did a new here from there. Okay. Um, David, you can do that. Are you able to do what John just did? Okay, that's fine. Yeah, Shane, are you with us or are you somewhere else? Pardon? Yeah, so go ahead and share your screen. Thanks, John. We'll come back to you in a bit. Who's in the background there, John? Oh, that's my daughter. Oh, well, how old is she? She just turned four. Oh, okay. Is she one of those digital kids? Yeah, she has a laptop and a tablet. Mm. Well, put her on. We'll, we'll, we'll teach her Tiddly Weeky. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
So we're going to have just have Shane do the same thing because I want to I want to see it's two people do this because this is what this action is doing is illustrating for you a whole series of activities that you can engage in. So Shane, we're you're going to share your screen or you're still coming? Are you in the meeting, Julia? Yeah, so go ahead and share your screen. And partly it's a, it's a fluidity of navigation. So go ahead and share your screen. The big green button on the bottom. There we go. Um, this is your version. This is his version. That's fine. So, yeah. So navigate to the golf rules. And this is more complicated than I might have expected to the golf rules tiddler, which is tough to find. And, and Michael made this a little more complicated, so we learn a little bit more from his. So if you look at the code for this, he says, create a tab for everything that's tagged golf rules. Okay. Well, I want to do new here, just because I'm too lazy to retype golf rules. Okay. So open up one of the tiddlers that's tagged with golf rules. So if you close this, uh, yeah, don't delete it. <laughs> just, just close that, to, yeah, save it either. So the tiddlers that are tagged with it are do's, don'ts, rules, and terms. So open up one of those tiddlers, and there's golf rules at the top. There's the tag. And so from there, click on that tag pill. This gives you the opportunity to navigate to any of the tabs as well as the original tag, which is golf rules. So that's what you're looking for. So navigate to golf rules. And because it doesn't exist, doesn't matter to us, you can do a new here from there. And give it a name like Howdy. And save it. And then go back to basic golf rules and you should see a tab called Howdy. Okay, so again, what we did is we interpreted a filter, navigated it to a tiddler, did a new here, created a new tiddler, and that had the result of generating a new tab. Okay, go back to on uh, don'ts, because I noticed something here. Um, never, I, I don't know, I hate to say never, but it's rare that you would ever want to tag a tiddler to itself. I, I can't, and, and it has the possibility of creating a recursion. Yeah, so it's, a, it's an evil thing to do. So Michael, if you're listening, you were evil here. Okay, yeah, it's it just, it, it's, it's gonna cause difficulty. Okay. Um, Thanks. Shane, are you ready to do share screen? Uh, yeah. yeah, so oh, let's um, so navigate to that spreadsheet and let's look at the, the wiki above Michael's. You can stop sharing your screen. Now Shane is sharing and um, yeah, um, classes. Classes, exercises, my third wiki, and um, the, uh, there it is, yeah. Wow, yours is tiny, tiny. So do the one above Michael's, we're done with him. John's, okay, I haven't looked at John's. Um, that is a tiny screen. Can you uh, zoom in or make it? Less than full screen, Apple Command Plus, maybe. Are you on Mac or Windows? Oh, okay. I don't know how to zoom in on Windows. Control Plus. Yeah, Control Plus. Keep going. A couple more. A couple more. Okay, there we go. Um, everybody open up. Uh, this is John's wiki. Um, 
and take a look at his discussion of examples of techniques. And so you can scroll down a little bit. Okay, so he, so right there, yeah. So what John does is a really nice job of documenting his process. Um, so what's transclusion? His code in the red there, what does that do? Yep. What does it do? Transclusion refers one document to another. What do you mean by refers? Um, really obnoxious sort of in some ways and trying to get you to speak very precisely because it's in the ambiguities that people get lost. So it's, it's, um, it's embedding uh, information. Uh, so it'd be uh, if information was, say, in one tiddler. Give Shane some directions here so that you can demo what, what you want to describe. You can show us what you want to describe here. Like if you click on um, under tagging and filtering, if you click on assertions. Yep. It'll bring up a tiddler about what assertions are. Mm hmm so instead of embodying the entire uh, text about assertions, you can just refer to it with a link. Um, almost. That's pretty good. Um, you're, you're, it, so let's um, scroll up a little bit, Shane, and click, instead of the tagging and filtering, click on the transclusion section and the gesture rec click on gesture recognition. There. And let's edit the code. I think this is what John is describing. So what's he doing here? The code, the stuff, you can close the sidebar, Shane. So the code on the left, code on the left, display on the right. They don't look anything alike. What's he doing? Delete everything after the... You see bang, bang assertion and then thing in squiggly braces and delete all the stuff after that. Starting with what is gesture? Yeah, delete all that stuff. Get rid of that stuff. We don't need that. Okay. So what is he, what is he getting? See the second line of code there in closing curly braces? Yeah. Copy that and change the curly braces to square brackets so that there's two of them. Okay, so the first line of code there does a transclusion. The second line of code builds a link. So as a writer, when you write that second line of code there, you're transcluding. As a writer, when you write the third line of code there, you're linking. If you click on the link, go ahead and click on the link. That's the contents of the tiddler. In fact, edit gesture recognition assertion and put some more text in there. There you go. There we go. Okay. Um, save it. Scroll up. There. Right there. Right there. So, what's the second line of code doing? Yep. 
that's the definition. So a transclusion. Displays, yep. So even more technically, look at the gesture recognition, assertion, tiddler, and edit it. There are three, so far, three fields that we're playing with. The title field, the value is gesture rec recognition assertion. The text field, the value is all the stuff in that text box with more text in there ending with that. The tags field has the value of, so far, assertions. Add a tag, like more stuff. Don't forget the add button. And then add a field down on the bottom and call it chains field. That's fine, chain is good. And then give it a value. I don't know, put your last name there. And add it. Okay, now we have a tiddler that has a title field, a tags field, a text field, and a chain field. Okay, so scroll up to our, where we were playing before. Save the tiddler, sorry. Save the gesture, yeah. Okay, so what's that? No, not yet. So why hasn't the third line of code changed? Just a link. Okay. Um, second line of code, right, af right after the name of the tiddler, before the curly braces, so after the name of the tiddler, before the curly braces, right there. This is a little strange, but incredibly powerful. So let's say that we wanted to see the contents of the field called tags. So put in two exclamation points, bang, bang, right there. And then the word tags. And now what you're seeing is a comma separated list of the tags. Change tags to chain. And we're gonna see the value of the field chain. Not the name of the field chain, the value of the field chain. Okay. You, when did you do something similar to this? When have you seen stuff that looked just like that? Curly braces, exclamation points. Remember when you were, Bill, you were doing this when you were using title and text? Okay, change Shane to, t to title. And you're gonna get the title of the tiddler. Bill, you built a link the other day, didn't you? Uh, yeah. yeah, so Shane, while you're here, let's build this into a link. So at the front of the line, Still on the same line of code. Um, in front of the curly braces, yep, put it yeah, right there. And so inside of angle braces, type the word link with a dollar sign beginning it. So dollar, uh, not double angles. Dollar sign link, close it. And then at the end of that line, um, angle bracket slash dollar sign link. And don't type the last dollar sign, yes, yeah, slash dollar sign link. Don't type that last angle bracket yet. Just hold on for a second. When he types that last angle bracket, what's it going to look like? Go ahead and do it. It's so exciting, I can't. Yeah. What's the difference between the second line and the third line now? None. So by... A, so, Putting double square brackets around the name of a tiddler has the same, is exactly the same as the code that he wrote above. Okay, so that's a little weird, but it gets you into understanding how to transclude and adding some power to transclusion. So that's pretty cool. So uh, you can go ahead and close that. Um, and notice the other thing that you're doing here is you're 
editing somebody else's wiki and you're playing with their code, but you're not messing up their wiki. If you wanted to save this, Shane, for later, do file save as. Save page as, yep. And um, put it someplace where it belongs. You can put it anywhere on the desktop if you want. Um, give it a name. You can give it a short name, like messing around, whatever. Yeah. Um, and are there options under web page complete? I think not. Oh, yeah, HTML only. Ooh, save it. And now go ahead and open that. So now what you've done is taken somebody else's code, opened it, and you can, did you open it? No. Oh, okay. And none of your changes saved, right? No. So, um, If you think you're going to save them, you start by saving it, and then you play with it. Okay. okay? So good. Thanks, Shane. Um, so, David, are you ready to play in public? Sorry. Are you ready to play in public? Are you in the meeting? No, I'm not. Okay. So join in the meeting. Um, and um, can't have yeah. Can't you can't have what? Yeah, I don't know. Um, I just want to take. I want to look at. I want to look at one more wiki and then kind of set you guys free. Um, so the idea here is that every assignment you do, you just push yourself a little further to do a little bit more. Okay. Um, you're coming. Okay. Trying to integrate. Bill, you're in the meeting already, right? Yeah. So go ahead and share your screen. Mm -hmm. Just a game collection of pictures. And it's, I guess it's a combination of particular wiki wiki pictures and the dragon is dropped off and just work on it. Okay, I'll we'll look at that in one second. So, Bill, if you want to go to the one above John, so Zipporah's, there you go. Um, that's you, so you want to mute your audio there. Yeah. Um, So click on one of those. I haven't seen this. Click on that first link there. And your audio is on. Yeah, now it's muted. Okay. And um, so what did she do here? Let's edit her code. And so, and um, close the sidebar and open the preview window. Okay, so this is interesting because again, it's pure discourse and I'm perfectly happy with just playing with text. So notice that she's got those, um, in order to get that stuff underlined, she put something in front of it. <laughs> Take those out, let's see what happens. Okay, that's how you make an underline. I didn't know that. Um, what do those double single quotes do? Hmm? I think they bold it, right? Okay. And then notice the asterisks make a bullet point. Um, and scroll down. Is there anything else going on here? Oh, right there. There's a link. Okay. And she's doing... Um, internal linkings. And, and, and I have a... a, I have a pet peeve, sort of. Um, click on that link, see if it works. It does, okay. Um, I think that things that say HTML, blah, 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 are ugly. So how would you get rid of that? So go ahead and edit in her second bullet point, Bill. How would you get rid of Get rid of, no, 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 you, you gotta leave the second half of the link. <laughs> it's the first half of the link. And I would be cautious. I don't think that that period belongs there. 
and that spaces after the HTML, those don't belong there. Some servers will be kind, some servers will not. So yeah, there you go. The stuff on the, to the left of the, there you go. Well, you, you, don't need that. you need that vertical bar or that, is that a vertical bar? Yeah, yeah you need that because you need that because that's, oh, oh, stop, keep going, keep going, keep going, one more. Stop, there you go. Put something in there, word, link, whatever. We need some text. There you go. So what that creates is the stuff on the on the left of the vertical bar is what's visible. On the right is what the link is. Um, anybody know HTML? How the, how this works in HTML? So I'll, I'll just I'll, I'll give it to you. So on the next line, um, put some spaces in there. Uh, line return. Sorry. Just give us some white space to play with. Yeah. And so it's, um, it, do you know HTML, Bill? You remember the A colon H, H, A, H ref? So open an angle bra bracket and it's just one, not two. A space H ref equals quote. Copy the URL that she's trying to go to. Copy that, paste it, close the quote, close the angle bracket, put the word boom in, and open an angle bracket and, uh, the other way, and close the A tag with a slash A. You need a slash. Yeah. Um, so that does exactly the same thing. So it's another example of what the of the power of the TiddlyWiki code. It interprets the double square brackets as an a h ref and it yeah, writes it for you. Did that so the 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 above the double bracket double bracket boom that's tiddly wiki and it's interpreting html and it generates the html yeah well yeah lots of them. yeah so i wanted to show you that part yeah um if you can as you're writing these discourse wikis um make the text not there's not a lot of value to readers in giving them that HTTP visible. So you typically don't do that. Um, yes, yeah, scroll. Let's see what else she did in here. Um, I think she did like five, six, seven. Okay. And um, cool. And let's see how, let's look at her journal. Let's see how she generated this. Yeah. Edit the code. She scrolled down. Okay, so she, um, whoa, brute forced it. Okay. Um, how many lines of code is there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How could you do that in one line of code? Click on that one and see what it's tagged to. It's tagged to overview. I'll click on the next one. What's it tagged to? Expert instruction, science and teacher. Let's see what else. Does she have any common tags? Appropriate culture parent. Yeah. So you'd go through all seven of them and tag them to something, right? Yeah. Um, so let's spend, um, what time is it? 11.02. Let's spend... Um, yeah, she doesn't have a common tag. So the critique of this one is that you, you object, in her case, these pieces of text should have a common tag, and then you can have just one list links. Do you know what I'm talking about here? So one of the things that you could, yeah, teacher, that's fine. There you go, she's got it. Yep. Um, How'd you do that so quickly? She had teacher in there as common to all of them? I sort of teacher in like three of them. Yeah, so it's like it's good enough. You know, so she put teacher in all of them. Scroll up, get rid of, um, instead of doing it in tabs, she wanted to do it in list links. So change tabs to list links. There you go. You don't even need the word filter in a list links because it's a macro. 
Yeah. Um, change. Yeah, you can get rid of them. Close enough. Okay. Um, change list links to what else do we know? We know list links, tabs. Do we know anything else? I don't think we do yet. I think those are the two that we know. Um, okay. Um, yeah, so we, the applying the lessons from the third week to the discourse space week, you would have, which should lead you to having a common tag for your sections and then one line of code. If you find yourself writing like seven lines of code that look almost the same, you should think you're doing something that's not quite right. Always strive for efficiency in your code, not verbosity. Uh, it, it, for many reasons, because if, if you do it this way and she wants to add a section, all she has to do is tag it to teacher. If you do it her way, she has to create the new section and go back and write more code. It's much easier to read and decipher. Yeah. So thanks, Bill. Um, so let me stop with the stuff there. And um,